So, so that's yeah. it. That's for Kettlebell Kings. Kettlebell King. Kettlebells from Austin, Texas, the company. And uh, the city that has no Wi Fi. And a four pound, um, actually 3.75 pound, Rose Water Connects links. Uh, first round. All right. There is a uh, natural power lifter and circular strength athlete, circular training athlete, Jeff Sambell. He's warming up. That's 3.75 pound uh, uh, maple club, wooden club. And these are his new kettlebells. Oops. From Kettlebell King. <coughs> Kettlebell King. Now he's doing some squats. This might very well be, maybe, possibly, the very last show in Lower Dine, New Jersey. Uh, not by me, but by, you know, uh, featuring Jeff Zambella, who is down visiting after his uh, competition kettlebell event in Dover, New Hampshire. Came down, drove long hours, and now... He's doing a little workout, breaking in those brand new, and I repeat, brand new kettlebells for the first time. They're fresh out of the box, okay? Fresh out of the box. There are the boxes right over there that they came in. They came in today from Austin, Texas. But there's no wife. Where there's no Wi-Fi at the Salt Lake Barbecue, yes. Uh, uh, wink, wink, nod, nod, uh, no pun intended. Get a look at those beautiful, uh, I guess, cobalt blue. Yeah, or midnight blue, whatever the hell you want to call it. Professional style kettlebells. From Kettlebell King. There is a certain set of elbows over their head. <laughs> no, no, but I'm I'm watching your your elbow bringing it all the way back and and flexing your uh, 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 retra retracting. Your scapula, as you're pulling it inward, like doing doing a lat row, pulling the handle in tight. Let the weight do all the work. It's like a mace. Your hand should be behind your neck, so that the centrifugal force gets it. See, it'll go with a pendulum. Watch this. Yeah, so so instead of instead of torch pressing it upward, you are going you are letting it fall back. You are, the the club is falling straight back. <laughs> the um, actually that, w that would be a mug doll. Yeah, that, 
Yeah, that club would be considered a, a mug doll. Mug doll. Am I still on the camera? Yes, you're on the camera. Trying to Zooming in on the uh, the horseshoe, the horseshoe of Jeff Zambello. I got a real close up of that horseshoe. Now we got the little lat spread, the uh, the billboard, the human billboard. I want to say hello to my good buddy, Iron Man Vinny Blake, the golf enthusiast, and he also loves the kettlebell sport. Not competitive, but just, you know, to work out with. He's a big fan of Pavel Tosolin. Also want to uh, send my greetings to Ken Thiessen, Mario Petrus, Anthony Laura, Salvatore Mercurio, the Meringue Warrior, Meringue Guerrero, professional wrestler. Kashi Azad, who recently did a seminar in Southern Connecticut. Jeff Zambello will be doing a big blockbuster kettlebell competition in Pennsylvania this July of 2019. I will be accompanying him. Yuri. First hand. Yuri. Yuri's event. Russian Yuri, yes. What's the name what's the name of the town his gym? Is that uh, Wilton? Lewis, oh, Wilton, Connecticut. Wilton, Connecticut is Yuri's but the gym. Event we held in Lewisburg. Lewisburg. Pennsylvania. 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 Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Okay, now he's uh, casting. He's casting with my eight-pound maple Persian meal from RevolutionClubs.net, made Very by soft. made by Mr. Christian Dars. Soft landing. Christian Dars, shout out. I received those clubs totally unfinished. I, I put probably more than a week's co coating of natural oils every day, a new coat of oil, let it seep in, and this is the end result. A beautiful wood grain and natural shine. So 10 each side. As he pivots his hip. Going from opposite. So ends. each wall, see? I landed each wall. End of the show. End of the show. And that's CTT. CTT would be circular torque training, sir? Centrifugal. Centrifugal torque, tra torque training. And we patented it. Scott Sonnen. Scott Sonnen. Sue me. Sue me. 
Yeah. Sue me a court with Rick Brown. Now I tried. I try to. Rick Brown. I try to explain to many people out there, worldwide, to please stop using the word club bell for any any exercise club. No, club bell is a registered trademark name. But the not you, but these other individuals. Uh, like a, a certain someone in Europe, as well as many others, uh, mistakenly use the word club bell, which is a registered trademark. And uh, just like Mace Bell, they also misuse the word Mace Bell, which is a res registered trademark. So you'll see the, you'll see the centrifugal the pendulum. <laughs> yeah, that's the mug doll. Watch the pendulum. Watch my hand, this is not over my head. I was up, I was down just like a mace. Well, no, up. the hand is behind your head, I yeah. I was down. Hand behind your neck. Behind your neck, rather. Steve <clears throat> Paul Terrace Walker Wilski, Kashi Azana, Richard Army McGuire. Now, now speaking, speaking of people in the physical fitness world, you can respect their knowledge and they can be an outstanding teacher, but that doesn't mean that uh, you necessarily get along with them, or love them, or like them, or, or cozy up to them, uh, but to buddy buddy up with them, uh, you you might not even get along with a a person of celebrated status, celebrity status. Uh, uh, but you can also you can still re respect their knowledge and their uh, contribution to the physical fitness world. At the same time, they could be total, complete uh, egomaniacal assholes. It is very possible. Or narcissistic psychopaths. Yes, like for instance, uh, Vince Gironda was in such uh, when he was alive was such an egomaniacal. Uh, asshole uh, to people, but he. Some cold sweat. Yes. That was a little five minute breakout. But as a trainer and as bodybuilder, he made his mark in the business, and he was well, very well respected. But you know, I mean, dealing with people on a, on a personal level, don't ever meet your heroes because you will be disappointed. Yep, because they say we don't have mitochondria, but. Unless a horse kicked me, I don't know how I got triceps that a horseshoe shaped. Look at that. Look at that. Now that, that is proper eating, high protein, high nutrition, and lots of hard training. Uh, done not for uh, the amount of weight lifted, but done in, uh, in the proper, perfect form and safe manner. Don't don't think that this is come this comes from just throwing mega weights around. Now this is all form related, proper perfect exercise form. The shoulder rehabilitation. Was what rehabilitated Jeff Zambello's shoulder injury and made him what he is today. Safe. But somebody said I don't have mitochondria. How is that? I weigh two hundred and twenty-five pounds, people. I don't know. No, well, someone. Know what that means, uh, like well, let's put it this way: when a person is sitting around waiting, yeah, the franchise. No, sitting around, sitting around with an empty stomach after sweating his balls off, working his working out like like a like a like a. Like a, like, like a a real warrior. Like a real warrior. A Viking warrior. With ninety degree. Temperature and humidity, uh, busting his ass, and then is uh, uh, sitting around the Hilton Hotel with an empty stomach, and it's uh, closing in on 10 p.m. And then the person uh, criticizes the uh, the one who's the one who's the one who's starving uh, for having a so-called attitude, yes. The and I was thirsty because I didn't have a free bottle of ice-cold spring water yes. that was provided by the gym owner, graciously. Graciously, yes. And, and, and his expense, not, you know, nobody yeah. else's and, and we're talking about the very qualified martial artist and proprietor of New Breed Fitness 
on Garibaldi Avenue, Lodi, New Jersey, Mr. Daniel Ramsey, martial arts background. He was generous enough, aside, aside from being the host, the host. Mitochondria? What's that? I need to ask somebody and tell me about what is mitochondria? It's, a, it's the... Uh, what the, is mitochondria? I know what it is, but I'm being facetious. Yes. Because somebody's facetious to me. <laughs> I'm just a humble man yes. who loves to lift weights. Well, the the uh, the actual uh, pro, the actual protein in the muscle cell is my myosin and actin, and muscle cells are um, in uh, in bundles uh, called uh, I believe myofibril, and they are in sections called sarcomeres, sarcomeres, and you need protein. You need to put on strength. And to put on that kind of muscle mass, you need adequate protein, at least at least one gram per pound of body weight. And uh, I'm gonna hold this thing with my chest muscles. Yes. Without breaking it, I'm not gonna break it. What are you? You're not looking at your schlong, are you? No, I'm trying to hold it. Yeah, but squeeze it with my pecs. Oh, okay. Yeah, my schlong. Yeah, I, I got I, a big Italian schlong. I don't need a microscope. No, I, I need it's that. As long as a racehorse. I need that because I don't have any reading glasses. You ever see a racehorse? <laughs> yeah, I. <laughs> no, the way you were bending over, you were holding it over. Because I got no mitochondria. You were holding it over your crotch. Those forms. Crotchatoa, east of Java. Krakatoa. Yeah, these forms, they don't have mitochondria. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, how the heck. I mean, if 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 your uh, protein intake, if your protein intake was not adequate, how did you get the, that kind of muscle? How did you get the that kind of thick thick? You're thick, man. Quality muscle and thickness, thickness, because because you didn't feel like starving and we're having dinner past 10 p.m. Like a, a certain famous mustachioed, very tall individual from Southern California claims you had an attitude, but well, it's ten o'clock at night. Ten o'clock at night to have dinner, All right? Pocketing the allowance and having some poor soul from Virginia pick him up at at a horrible airport arrival. Newark Liberty International Airport. <laughs> and uh, two elites to spend any quality time with his so called buddies. Uh, the Swedish hold weights. Yes, James, you're doing bent over rows with that. Wow, look at that. That's right, bent over rows. Swedish hold weights. But I have no mitochondria. And I'll say that 500 more times tonight. Because somebody who's got very round shoulders. Said so I don't have my card. I think he needs to look up my in the dictionary. Well, you definitely got a lot of protein on this trip. That's for sure. That's for damn sure. Anyways, I'm done. Okay, that's it. Show's over. All right. This has been a Mega Life Twenty One production.